Hey guys, join us on our travel series vlogs where we explore the city of Mogadishu, sharing our experiences with you, our opinions, and a view of the city through our lens. It's a very complex and compelling city, so bear with me while I try to uncover some hidden gems. And if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and join the fun. Yes, system not so bad only three checkpoints and then shuttle bus and then the actual airport <laughs> it's so funny i'm just waiting for when i get the clearance to use my rope but we're still in this big jumble here <laughs> We've been in this bus checkpoint for like 15 minutes. Oh, still not at the airport. But it's a very pleasant experience as much as there's checkpoints. Well, that's that one, Amy. <laughs> Second bag with chapel face. Ah, that's probably Avantai. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> now was on holiday. <laughs> the no, they are not searching the whole bus right now. We are getting off. Do you know what it feels like? You know when you travel from Canada to US on the mega bus? Mm. And you get to the border and you have to take everyone out mm. and walk across the border? That's what it feels like mega bus memories. Yeah. Oh, I think it's over. It's on my mobile, so heads up to print it. Because this is not going to work. Yeah. Everyone else like put papers in the air, and I'm like, Did you see this? In my yeah, I was like, It's on my mobile. He was speaking English. He's Kenyan, I guess. Ugandan? Okay, so after a, a kind of short, kind of long bus ride to the terminal, a, a canine check of our suitcase and a very hectic check-in procedure. Although I must say, customer service here is top-notch for how much of a hassle the security measures are. The customer service absolutely makes up for it here at, at, an, at the international airport. I just need a quick vlog moments every here and there after every checkpoint to keep my sanity. Anyway, there's lots of other people with plants in here. BRB, I'm just trying to do my check-in and then chill on the other side. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you all about that one. Mama, you remember how in Aramka it's Yalla Haji, Yalla Haji? Yeah. I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't The whole time they were like pushing me to walk faster. I'm like, I can't do this. How do you see that? I will say it was the same amount of checkpoints as Hargeisa. But there was just way more hassle. So the first time checkpoint, they took the bags and everything they take, you don't know what they're taking. Body tank is in a whole different place. I didn't have that movie statue. Five to them. Oh. After that, there's two more checkpoints. Those are kind of quite normal. Um, but I did see a lot of people with plant soil. Plants, huh? Ah, you saw the, the lean tree. Yeah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, not not as it's intense because it's Somalis. But it's not much more intense for security, it's the same, honestly. They did ask for a passport for her visa. Confirm. Everyone oh. said you could just fly with ID, you don't need anything, but the first question at check-in is passport. Uh, can't fly without passport to go to her visa. To her visa, yeah, you can. But you can fly without passport coming from her visa to Mogadish. Yeah, on our arrival, they didn't ask for anything. Nobody didn't. Whoo! This was the biggest hassle. Baby got out of Inshallah, It's funny because when I told the checking guy, hold on, I'm gonna go wrap my bag and come back. He thought I was gonna go take it to like a proper plastic wrap. He don't know my mama. I'm surprised it's not open seating again, Oyo. Yeah. Now we're back to open normal. Open seating will be good on this uh, taste. Yeah. Because uh, you can sit anywhere. Yeah, now we're, we're not sitting together. You know what he said when I got to the checking counter? What sort of? He didn't even have a GA. I will go to no, he just wanted to stress me out unnecessarily. <laughs> we're not late, we're so early. We're like two and a half hours early. We left the house at 5.40 and our flight's not till 9.30. Mega prepared. I'm filming myself, I'm doing selfie like everyone else, okay? I'm still not allowed to record in here. I want to show you guys the ocean, it's right there. Yeah, I don't even know if I have a window now. I do have one window, it's mine this time, boy. <laughs> Back to open seating. I want a window. Open seating will work for now. I just want a window, but it's all the way in the front, I'm all the way at back. Excuse me. When the plane takes off, is it the view on this side or this side? The the city and the ocean. Okay. Thank you. So I have two windows. What, this one? I've been happy. I know, and this window. So I'm going 
As yes, flight time to Harki, so the one hour 15 minutes, we shall be cruising at a level 20,000 feet above the main sea level. Safety regulations, if I to point out to you, the same procedures we carry on board and how to operate them. Please give your full attention to my colleague Eric as he is going to demonstrate. And here's one thing I'll absolutely never forget. This majestic oceanfront takeoff view from the airplane. Unreal, Mogadishu, it's been beautiful. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for this beautiful goodbye view. Enjoy the rest of this vlog as we make our way to Hargeisa, home sweet home. And if you liked it so far, leave us a like, share, and join the family. Okay, drum roll please for the grand reveal of the airplane meal. Love to see it. La with bed. And now for the nap that I've been waiting for. It's only been a seven day trip, but it felt like something, I tell ya. You know, when you take that airplane nap and you wake up and you actually cannot remember what part of the planet you're on. Yeah, one of those feelings. But of course, seeing the ara'as that I've always been told about, red soil, turn into green farmlands. And then of course, our Hargeisa Ade. Oh, the feeling of arriving home, comparable to none. in a place where I can record freely. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, I can begin to explain how good it feels to vlog freely with my phone. I like to just record things and capture the beauty without being afraid. I'm parallel. I just have to learn how to fight off these luggage guys again. Oh, here we go. It's a really different feeling um, somewhere where everybody knows your name. <laughs> I'm having one of those moments. I was fighting off all those guards, I, not guards, um, the luggage guys. And someone's like, no, 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 I watch your channel. Come, let me help you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. And uh, yeah, that's what home feels like, right? Just a heads up, it's 10 bucks per bag. 10 bucks per bag. I'm like, I'm these things have wheels. I can do it myself. <laughs> but I'm glad I got help from my friend. Okay. 
Nothing special. Airport services are proper, so yeah. Oh. You just make sure you make an agreement before you get in the car. The airport taxi. It's reasonable. No, you can't. Welcome back home. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Quick switch of the accent. It's like nothing ever changed. <laughs> There's like no better feeling than this. I mean, like a vacation is a great feeling, but home. We still have them. They're just not intense. Yeah. <laughs> what everyone knows you have made. <laughs> Classic. Feeling cause not only North America, no girl. Yeah. Where everybody knows your name. Comment below. what I call traveling in style. <laughs> no prayers missed. Edge of the shoe. And now while I am in Hargeisa for Duhur. Small joys, that's small wins. All right, we just need to check on our coconuts. Coconut ko furi, furi hivan ko ilawe. Rookie mistake. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. My besties are here. What's up? Oh, sorry. How good it's you gonna 
بعد العصر يعني سأكد أنا يا هاي باي my besties home mama we're home such a rookie mistake putting the house keys in my suitcase but um you know that stress of security had me stressed so anyways good vibes now okay moment of truth we gotta see if the coconuts made it I must say this actually weighed maybe 69 it was 59 pounds yeah damage was done I'm gonna check the coconuts mom in theory it was an hour flight they should have survived but the travel time from point a to point b and 600 checkpoints let's see mashallah they are a-okay and they didn't take the yam so the weird thing is when they do security uh, checkpoints, they, you can't see what they're taking out. So I thought for sure this weapon wasn't gonna make it, but. Um, we'll take the perks of being a domestic <laughs> flight and uh, come do that. Okay, let them breathe. Yeah. The coconuts made it, Valguri. Allah. Yeah. They're just Masha hooting Allah. a little bit. They're sweating a little bit. It's so good, not so good. I'm pulling them all out right now. Right. Yeah. And actually, the garden looks okay. Everyone's surviving. <laughs> Everyone's doing all right right now. Nope. I lied. This one, attack of the ants. Inshallah. That's a whole nother day's work. Okay. Yes. Yambo, they made it. Most useful tool. Hmm. What are you more happy about, the yambo or the coconuts? Both. <laughs> Can't choose. I wonder where this is gonna go. Cutie patootie. It becomes a big hedge like that one. Okay, well, if you liked that episode, leave me a like. Uh, share this with someone. I just wanted to give you information from start to finish of what it's like traveling from Mogadishu to Hargeisa. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. What a way to end our day! Rain, rain, don't go away. Love you. <laughs>